Hi everyone, it's Miss Guzman, your CLC College and Career Navigator for Warren Township High School. Today I'm going to go ahead and talk about the Math Placement Test, also known as ALEX. Without further ado, let's go ahead and continue. Now what is exactly ALEX? Well, let's first talk about what it stands for. It stands for Assessment and Learning in Knowledge Spaces, and really, it's a web-based artificially intelligent assessment and learning system. Alex uses adaptive questioning to quickly and accurately determine exactly what you know and what you don't know based on your previous math experiences. Now, let's go ahead and understand the format of the test. Now, before accessing the assessment, you must complete a survey this will ask basic information about your previous and current math history. Then you would go ahead and click Get Started to begin the survey when you see the button. You will then take a brief tools tutorial guide. This tutorial will show you how you use certain functions you may see during the exam. For example, how to use a ruler, how to use and make a fraction, how to write an exponent, things like that. At the end of the tools tutorial guide, you will see a screen saying you have unlocked your placement assessment. So now we will go ahead and take the placement assessment. It will ask you up to 30 questions and you have max two hours to complete it. There is no partial credit. If you do not finish the assessment, it will not be scored. So please make sure that you do finish the test within the time you are provided. It is recommended that you attempt to solve each and every one of the problems, but there is an I don't know button in case you're stuck in a question and it's been just a long time and you just want to get through it. Now, I don't recommend you to click the I don't know button for all the questions, but at least for the one that's like really giving you a hard time. If you answer the the I don't know button for everything, you will potentially receive a shorter assessment and then be prompted to practice within the program to gain further subject knowledge before you're allowed to retest. Now, once you have completed the assessment, you will see your official score. If you are satisfied with the score, the placement test process ends there, you're complete. You do not have to think about doing anything else. We can now use the score to begin picking classes. If you do not like the score, you can use the study modules to practice within Alex on the subjects you need more help with, and then you can retake the assessment. The study modules were created from your very first math assessment test. Now, speaking about retakes, exactly how many times can you take Alex? Well, you can take Alex's assessment up to three times. Typically, you can consider the first test as practice, but it still is going to be used to place you in classes. You can then retest. I usually recommend, and as well as the software system, maybe practice around three hours study slash practice to make sure that you remember some of the topics that you talked about. It might have been years since you saw them. If you need to retake again the test, we encourage five hours of study slash practice time before you do that last attempt. Now, to support the proper placement of students, scores from the Alex Math Placement Test expire after 24 months. After this period, you will need to retest to ensure you have maintained the necessary skills for success in your coursework. Now let's review some frequently asked questions that I get normally from students. First one up is when can I take the Alex Math Placement Test? Well, really as soon as you have your CLC student portal information. In order to get that information, you need to have applied to CLC, have been accepted, and have access to the username and password to log into the student portal. Otherwise, you can immediately go ahead and take it. Another big question that I get is, is there a fee for taking the test? And the answer is no. The cost of Alex is covered by CLC. Students do not have to pay anything out of pocket. The third question that I normally get is how many questions are on the Alex assessment? 
And like I said before, there will be a maximum of about 30 questions. The exact number of questions will vary due to the adapted format of the assessment. Another big question that I get is, can students use calculators? And unfortunately, the answer is no. Handheld calculators or graphing calculators are not allowed during your Alex assessment. Alex, however, does provide an on-screen calculator for certain questions. You won't see it for all of them, but at least you can use it for some. All of the rest of the questions, you will need to have scratch sheets of paper and pencils or pens, whatever you want, marker, crayons, to go ahead and work on the problem and then put the correct answer in the assessment. Now, a student with an IEP and or 504 plans who, for example, request a four-function calculator as an accommodation or require different accommodations must first seek assistance from the CLC Access and Disability Resource Center before taking the math placement test. The Access and Disability Resource Center will go ahead and let you know that you need to complete an application, provide the appropriate documentation, either the IEP or 504 plan. They will go ahead and review all that information and then get back in contact with you, the student, to go ahead and talk about what accommodations you may need for the placement test. Later on, you will go ahead and go back with them to discuss further accommodations for the actual classes. Now, Again, where is Alex exactly located? We already know that we have to log on into the portal, but where exactly is it? Well, on screen, I have a screenshot of where the Alex is located. All right, so let me show you exactly how to get to the Alex software. So we're gonna go ahead and go to Google and put in College of Lake County. Once we're there, we're gonna go ahead and click on the first link. And this is our main page. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller so you can see. Your student portal login is always gonna be in the bottom right-hand corner. Right now it's gonna be my CLC login. And we're gonna go ahead and put in our username and password. Once it loads, we're gonna go ahead and look on the left-hand side of the screen underneath Quick Launch and then underneath Launchpad. And we're going to scroll down until we locate Math Placement Test Alex. We're gonna go ahead and click on that and let it load. Now, just so you know, I will not be prompted to do many of the things new students are prompted. Mine just takes me directly to the Alex dashboard page. I am going to go ahead and pull up the little screenshot that I was showing you a little bit ago, but you're going to go ahead and see this academic year and you're going to go ahead and click on it. The years will change, so you might not always see the 2019-2022 and that's okay. The gist of it is that you have to click on this link, which just as a reminder for you, it'll show under active. This will be over here and you would click that link. Then you're gonna go ahead and do the getting started, complete the survey and tools tutorial guide. These are just a couple of images so you could see a little bit more what they would look like. And then you'd be able to go ahead and actually start getting into the placement test once you've done all the items above. This is again, just a quick tutorial so you could see exactly where the Alex is located. Now that we've reviewed everything, you're ready to go ahead and take your math placement test, okay? As soon as today. Okay, okay, I'll be honest. Maybe not today, but definitely tomorrow, right? Because remember, the sooner you take the test, the sooner we can start picking your fall classes. The longer it takes for you to complete the placement test, the longer it will be before you can register for classes. And you may miss out on the times and days that you like best. So no time to waste. Complete the placement test as soon as you can. And make sure to go ahead and send me an email or let me know that you've already taken the test. 
Now let's talk a little bit about test scores. As I have already said before, after you complete the assessment, you will be able to immediately see your test scores. The higher the score, the higher you will be placed for your first semester math course or meet prerequisite requirements for other classes. What's next? Well, after you complete the math assessment, schedule an appointment with me to talk about your fall semester, spring semester, or summer classes. Make sure that you also have checked if you needed to complete the English placement test as well. There will be another video and I'll link it to the description in case you need to check out if you need that placement test or not. Moreover, make sure to check the Google site for next steps. Remember that after placement testing, we want to make sure that you've completed the FAFSA or the alternative application and you apply for scholarships to help pay for school. Also, you can look into the CLC Honors and Scholars Program. I'll go ahead and put all that information in the description if you are interested in knowing about any of those topics that I've talked about right now. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm so glad that you're able to go ahead and connect and understand the math placement test. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you learn, the better off you will be to make an informed decision. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram, as well as YouTube, for more CLC admissions process and College 101 information. You guys have a great day. Take care.